This video will demonstrate how to embed Google Drive folders in a Google site. To get started, let's head on over to my Google site. Once I'm on my Google site, the first thing I need to do is create a subpage where my Google Drive folder will live. To do that, I'm going to click the Create Page button in the top right corner of the screen. It looks like a piece of paper with a plus sign on it. Then I'll go ahead and name my page, and I'll just call it Course Assignments. And the template I'll select is Web Page. And then I need to decide if I want this at the top level or under Home. We'll just go ahead and leave it at the top level of the page. Once I've done that, I'll click Create. After my page creates, Google Sites will redirect me to that page, and you'll see here it's called Course Assignments, and I can edit the information on that page. So what I want to do is insert a Google Drive folder, and how the folder structure will work is I'll have one folder that's just for course assignments, and then each folder below that will be for a specific unit, and I'll just be able to drop um, course notes and handouts and that kind of thing into those folders so students and parents will be able to access them from my class webpage. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and click Insert at the top left corner of the screen. And then I'll come over to Google Drive and select Folder. Now I need to go ahead and search for the folder that I want to insert on this page. So here's the folder I'm going to insert. I highlight it and click Select. It asks me if I want to include a, bold, a border, the folder title, which I'll go ahead and erase the folder title the height and width. If you leave the width blank, it will fill up 100% of the available screen width. And then you can decide if you want your folder to display as a list or grid, and that's totally up to you. The big difference between list and grid is list will show you typically the whole folder name, but grid will just give you an icon to click on for each one, and you may not see the entire folder name. I typically select a list. And then I'll click Save. You'll see the drive folder is here. And if I hit save, we'll see what that's going to look like live on my web page. So now you'll see that all the folders inside of that folder that I inserted called Tutorials are here, and any documents are there as well. One important thing to keep in mind is that you need to share your Drive folder with the appropriate people who need to view this web page. So if this is a course assignments folder that you want all your students and all their parents to be able to see, you need to share it as public on the web. This has been a brief demonstration on how to insert a Google Drive folder into a Google site.